So the first factor that we use to determine whether a good is a public good or not is to see whether the good is non-rivalrous. Non-rivalrous means that the consumption by one person does not reduce the amount of that good available to others. So let's say we were to use the example of a park. By me going to the park, the amount of park that is available to everyone else right, does not reduce. The park is a, is a defined parameter and basically it exists as long as it's maintained. Right? And in this sense, the marginal cost of using that park is zero. And uh, this produces a problem because where you have to be efficient, producers have to set a price at zero where P equals to MC. And also for eff efficient consumption on the consumer side, the consumers expect only to pay zero because the marginal cost is zero. Now you can see that this produces a problem on both sides of the market because now uh, consumers want to pay zero and the producers don't want to produce a good where they get no money for it. And this is allocatively inefficient because one, one more person's consumption of the good costs society nothing at all. And this is one of the factors that exist. Now this can be extrapolated to other ideas. For example, let's say we were to talk about radio waves, right? If let's say I was listening to the radio, my consumption of listening to the radio does not reduce the amount of radio waves out there, right? And uh, this, this exists for a variety of goods and basically this is one of the main factors you use to determine whether a good is, non, is, is a public good or not.